the longest and deepest tunnel in the world is a reality. The Gothard Base Tunnel stretches 57 kilometers under the Swiss Alps. Changing travel forever, this engineering marvel faced extreme challenges, unstable rocks, deadly heat, and crushing mountain pressure. The Gotthard Base Tunnel is the longest and deepest rail tunnel in the world, 57 kilometers through the Alps, literally through. Yet engineers conquered it using cutting edge technology and lessons from history. American Brilliant Light Company played a key role in this breakthrough, pushing boundaries in underground construction. How did they achieve the impossible? What secrets lie beneath the Alps? Get ready to uncover the engineering genius behind the world's greatest tunnel. Stay tuned for a journey through history and innovation. The need for the Gotthard Base Tunnel. The Swiss Alps are one of the biggest barriers in Europe. For centuries, travelers struggled to cross these massive mountains. Roads and older tunnels helped, but traffic kept growing. Over 1.2 million trucks pass through yearly causing massive delays and heavy pollution. The situation was getting worse. Switzerland needed a faster, safer, and cleaner way to transport goods and people. The solution? A rail tunnel that would cut straight through the mountains instead of going over them. This would reduce travel time and take thousands of trucks off the road, making it a game changer for European trade. Building this tunnel wasn't easy. Engineers had to dig 57 kilometers under solid rock, dealing with heat, pressure and unstable ground. The project would take decades to complete and cost billions, but the benefits were too great to ignore. With this tunnel, trains could move at high speeds, making travel quicker and more efficient. It also promised less pollution, helping Switzerland protect its natural beauty. This was more than just a tunnel, it was the future of transportation. Engineers now had one goal, to make the impossible possible. Early Challenges and the Unknown Underground digging through a 57-kilometer mountain was a massive risk. Engineers had no way of knowing what lay beneath. The Swiss Alps are made of different rock types, some strong and some weak. Hidden faults, high-pressure water and deadly heat could make the tunnel a disaster. One of the biggest dangers was unexpected collapses. If the ground was too soft, the tunnel could cave in. If water was trapped under pressure, it could flood the site in seconds. Working 2.5 kilometers below the surface meant there was no quick escape. Traditional methods of surveying weren't enough. Engineers needed a way to see through solid rock before digging. The answer came from an old invention, the seismograph. Originally used to detect earthquakes, it was now used to scan the mountain. Controlled explosions sent shockwaves through the rock, helping experts map out dangerous areas. The results showed unstable zones, allowing teams to plan safer routes. Even with this technology, the risks were high. Every meter forward was a step into the unknown. Despite these dangers, the engineers pushed ahead. The dream of the Gotthard Base Tunnel was too big to give up. Digging through the Alps, tunnel boring machines versus drill and blast. Digging a 57-kilometer tunnel through solid rock is no small task. Engineers needed powerful machines to break through the Alps. The solution? Tunnel boring machines, TBMs, are massive drills designed to cut through rock like a mechanical worm. Each TBM was 400 meters long and weighed 300 tons. Their rotating heads, covered with steel discs, scraped away rock, creating a perfect tunnel shape. A conveyor system inside carried out the debris, making the process smooth. Unlike older methods, TBMs worked continuously digging up to 40 meters per day. However, TBMs weren't always the answer. Some sections of the Alps had weak, unstable rock that could collapse under pressure. TBMs needed hard rock to push against. Engineers used an older method in these tricky areas, drill and blast. With drill and blast, workers drilled deep holes into the rock and filled them with explosives. Once the explosives were detonated, the shattered rock was removed and steel supports were placed to prevent collapses. This method was slower, but was the only way to dig through soft, dangerous zones. Engineers kept the project moving by combining high-tech TBMs with traditional blasting. Each method had its strengths, but together, they made the impossible possible. The Alps were finally giving way to human ingenuity. Precision and navigation, the role of lasers. Digging a 57-kilometer tunnel is one thing, 
Making sure both ends meet perfectly is another challenge. Even a tiny mistake could ruin years of work. Engineers needed a tool that could guide them with pinpoint accuracy. The answer was lasers. Traditional surveying methods wouldn't work underground. GPS signals couldn't reach that deep. Instead, engineers used geodetic laser guidance systems to keep the tunnel boring machines, TBMs, on track. A laser theodolite was mounted on the tunnel wall. It sent a precise beam toward a target inside the TBM. If the machine veered off course, the system alerted the operator, who made tiny corrections. This method allowed the TBMs to stay on the right path for kilometers at a time. The results were astonishing. After years of digging, the tunnels met with an error of just one centimeter vertically and eight centimeters horizontally. That's the precision of surgical instruments on a scale never seen before. Without lasers, the Gothard Base Tunnel would have been impossible. These powerful beams turned an engineering dream into reality, proving that technology and human skill could conquer even the toughest challenges. Overcoming squeezing rock and tunnel collapse. Not all rock is solid and stable. Some parts of the Swiss Alps contain soft, shifting rock that behaves like dough. When pressure is applied, it moves and squeezes, trying to close any open space. This was a serious problem for the Gotthard Base Tunnel. If left unchecked, the tunnel could collapse under the mountain's weight. TBMs were not built for these conditions. If the rock squeezed too much, it could trap and destroy the machine. Engineers had to find a new way to keep the tunnel open. The solution came from an old mining technique, the yielding steel arch. Unlike rigid structures, these special steel supports could flex and adjust under pressure without breaking. Engineers widened the tunnel to allow movement and then installed the flexible steel rings. This let the rock settle slowly and safely without crushing the tunnel. Tests showed that traditional steel supports bent under pressure and failed, but the yielding steel arches absorbed the force, preventing disaster. This simple yet brilliant design allowed the project to continue through the most unstable sections. Large parts of the tunnel would have been impossible to build without this innovation. The team overcame one of their biggest challenges by combining modern engineering with old mining knowledge. The Alps could no longer stop them. The tunnel was taking shape, one step at a time. Unexpected challenges during construction building. The Gotthard Base Tunnel was not smooth sailing. Despite careful planning, engineers faced unexpected dangers profound inside the Alps. One of the biggest problems was water under high pressure. In some sections, water suddenly burst through the rock, flooding work areas and forcing teams to stop drilling. Another major issue was rock temperatures reaching 45 degrees Celsius. Workers had to use unique cooling systems to survive the intense heat. The rock was much weaker than expected in some areas, causing partial collapses. Engineers had to reinforce walls quickly to prevent disasters. Delays were inevitable. The project took 14 years instead of the planned 10. Despite these setbacks, the team never gave up. Innovative problem solving and teamwork kept the project moving. In the end, the challenges only made the achievement more impressive. The tunnel stands today as proof of human resilience and engineering excellence. Ventilation and fire safety, learning from past disasters. A 57-kilometer tunnel is an engineering wonder but comes with deadly risks. The biggest danger? Fire. A single spark could become a disaster with thousands of trains passing through. Engineers had to make sure passengers were safe at all times. The 1999 Mont Blanc tunnel fire was a tragic lesson. A truck caught fire inside the 11-kilometer tunnel, filling it with thick, toxic smoke. Visibility dropped to zero, and many people didn't survive. This disaster changed how tunnels were designed forever. The Gothard Base Tunnel needed the most advanced ventilation system ever built. Engineers took inspiration from the Queensway Tunnel in Liverpool, which pioneered underground air control. The Gothard system uses huge 2.5 megawatt fans to remove smoke instantly. If fire breaks out, the ventilation shafts push fresh air in while sucking toxic fumes out. Engineers built emergency stations inside the tunnel for evacuation, Trains in trouble can stop here, where passengers move through pressurized escape tunnels into a safe area. Even if a fire occurs, people can breathe clean air while waiting for rescue. This tunnel is safer than most railways above ground. Past disasters taught valuable lessons, and engineers turned them into life-saving solutions. The Gothard Base Tunnel isn't just an engineering triumph. 
It's also a model for future underground safety. The Gothard Base Tunnel is more than just a tunnel. It's an engineering masterpiece. From unseen dangers beneath the Alps to record-breaking precision, every challenge was met with innovation and determination. Engineers combined history's greatest ideas with modern technology to create the longest and safest rail tunnel ever built. It has transformed European travel, reducing traffic, pollution, and travel time. This project proves that human ingenuity has no limits. The impossible was made possible. What other engineering marvels will the future bring? Subscribe for more stories of groundbreaking achievements that push the boundaries of what's possible.